Okay, I want to go over the pollination process for cannabis, even though this may not be the main goal for many growers. Uh, we're taking pollen produced by male plants and pollinating a female flower to produce seeds will be an indication of a, a successful pollination process. So looking at uh, flowering plants, and that's what the broad category that we're looking at and it follows the same process as many other uh, flowers. There must be a grain of pollen uh, that comes from the male flowers in the stamen, particularly the anther, and it must travel to the female pistil. Those are the white structures we see on cannabis plants. From here, it's going to travel down a pollen tube to reach the ovule, which is where the eggs are. Once completed, the pistil will turn a brown color and a seed will begin to form. So you can see that kind of formation of a seed here. And again, there's that ovaries are um, eggs, and this is that formation of the seed will start to form. As the seed matures, the plant will degrade and ultimately die at, at the completion of a life cycle. Keep in mind, cannabis is an annual plant. This process is sexual reproduction with a combination of both plants' characteristics and the resulting seed, as we can see right here, will have a 50-50 chance of either being a male or a female. That's why it's important for growing from seed, we need to be able to have a system in place early on to cull out the male producing plant. You can see the same image here where we see the stigma, we have to see the pollen tubes, the grains going down and ultimately forming that seed that will grow into a seedling. Now female flowers, unpollinated female flowers, and these are examples of unpollinated female flowers, are referred to as sensimile. This will be the primary location of cannabinoids and resins and will peak production six to ten weeks or so after changing the photo period depending on the cultivar used. This is, is the calyx that will develop and swell. The pollinated plants will result in poor quality buds, which is why it's important to remove or isolate male uh, producing plants as early as possible. The goal is to increase cannabinoid production, have the plant divert all its energy into producing the chemicals instead of going through and producing uh, unwanted seeds in many cases.